Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. From time to time, you may hear in the news that New York is facing an increased flood risk due to climate change. On September 22nd, 2023, the New York governor signed a bill requiring sellers to inform home buyers whether a property is in a flood zone or is previously flooded. What does the rise in extreme weather mean to you as a home buyer? How does it impact you if the property you're deciding to buy or interested in is in a flood risk area? We will look into these questions in today's video. I'm Maureen Fitzpatrick, a title professional working with Federal Standard Abstract. All right, let's get started. First, you should always know your risk. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA for short, maintains a flood map that shows how likely it is for an area to flood. It is a good idea to check the property location on this map to understand its flood zone classification, which could help you assess the associated risk. Next, look for flood insurance tailored to your needs. Most mortgage lenders require flood insurance for homes in a high-risk flood zone. Note that flood insurance and homeowner's insurance are not the same thing. Your regular homeowner's insurance will protect you in the event of a disaster or an accident involving the property, but it usually does not cover flood damage. When you purchase flood insurance, make sure the policy covers your home structure, personal belongings, and any additional living expense in case you need to be elsewhere after the flood. If you're aware that the property in question has previously flooded, it is important to work with a certified home inspector to make sure there are no structural or foundational issues, as well as any water damage. You may also have to engage a mold professional to identify potential mold problems and help with mold re remediation. Once you've addressed these concerns, remember homes in flood zones often require more frequent maintenance due to potential damage from water, salt, and especially if the property is near the coast. You may also have to consider any necessary change in home design and retrofits, such as elevating the home on pilings or on a platform. It is also worth noting that properties in flood prone areas might appreciate differently in value and can occasionally be challenging to resell. If you have taken all the factors into consideration and taken all the necessary steps to protect your property, you can reside in your property with peace of mind. If you have any questions about this topic, please don't hesitate to reach out to Federal Standard Abstract. We are here to help. Remember to like and share our video and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates in real estate. We'll see you next time.